the hook. I know it seems like a straightforward move, but if you want to maximize your power, think about throwing the punch from your hip so it's in the pivot. You know, you've got to drill your foot down into the floor, you're going to smack the hip into the side of the room, bang, deliver that hook. Wow, I am totally impressed with you that you selected this workout. It is really challenging. Do your best. Okay, step into front stance as we engage warm up mode. Double left jab, double right, left T, right T, outside the thigh, battle rope slam. I did a little butt wiggle on that battle rope slam. It felt good. Now, with the battle rope slam, you want to get down into the legs. So press the knees out, lift the chest, and get the hands over the head, and then drop like a hammer. Give it me, Thor. On the left side. Nice little combo. It's in your body now. Soft elbows with those little T punches. Using the little finger on the outside of the fist. Okay, we'll stick with the battle rope slams. Bang! And again. Oh yeah. Hit that target from high to low so we get ready to good to go. Sky punch incoming. Whee! Maybe bend your knees a little bit and thrust out of the heels. That's that little heel lift. Never hurt no one. Let's combo it. One up high and then one double punch forward. Like a shoulder press and a chest press. Through the roof, baby, and then out the room. I'm going to hand you over to Dan. Nice jab on the right side. Double on your left side. Fantastic. Let's go for full range this time now. Out, out, and drop. You like that one? Double right, double left. Look for T-strike, right and left. As we go through every single strike, as this target comes at you, anticipate that timing of when you can fully get to the end range of the strike, or what we call the peak of the strike, so you can hit the center of the target. It activates the muscles in the shoulder, the back. It really connects you to the rhythm and that timing. It's a powerful tool to use. Now, as we hit the battle rope slams, I'm going to encourage you to take your hands high above the line of your shoulders and your head, pull the elbows down, and then strike to the outside of the thigh. Great way to crunch the abs and bring a little bit of legs into play. Directly over the head. Do that again with sky punches. I love the timing here. Wait, 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 and... Remember what I just spoke about, that anticipation? Yeah, it's a powerful tool. And we go up forward, like a shoulder press and a bench press, or a jump shot and a chest pass. Beautiful, one more time, body's warm, we're good to go. Great work so far. Okay, let's train to the environment that we're in. Let's use our experiences from the fitness lab and have some fun here. We're in a wide front stance. We're gonna be starting with a jab on the left and one on the right. Now you get the picture. You hit the center of the target. We wanna make sure we keep the hands nice and high. Now brace your abs, rotate the shoulders forward. And here's a little tip. Gently release your heels because that's gonna give you more range and in turn more power. We're going to add some speed. Jabs, left, right, left. Now squat, get out the way, stand up. Oh yeah, you've got it. Now squat down, lift in the chest and the butt goes down in line with the back of the knee. Now we're going to add on a punch downstairs. Watch this. Oh, did you get it? So it's right, left, right, and now with your right. Stand up, left, right, left. Awesome. Now we're going to come back to that, but for now, we've got seven fast punches. Now slip left and right. Slip left and right. It's a little bit like a maze, isn't it? Don't worry, if you just keep slipping, you'll find the exit. You won't get lost in here. 
You've got to bend your knees, brace your abs when you do this move. Move your shoulders. Awesome. Now, it's just one slip followed by one power hook. Here it comes, up high. Did you see it? Yeah. Just ensure that your elbow sits flush in line with the shoulder. And then as you throw that left hook, let the hip and the heel turn inwards, all right? It's gonna make you feel really good. All right, back to those triple punches with the squat. Hit downstairs and stand up right side. You've mastered this now, this is really good. So much so that we're gonna intensify this and add on three punches downstairs. You ready? Squat down. Remember, brace your abs as you hit the bottom range so the butt's in line with the back of the knee. So drive out of your heels. Stand up and strike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Let's do it all again. This time we're going to leave with the right hand. And we're actually going to throw some power, right? Yeah, come on. Power punch. Right, left. Oh, how do you do power rage? Look, you have to think of it. Power starts in the mind. Then it comes through the ground, out through the fist. How about seven of them power punches? Let's go. Let's go for the slips. So you're rolling your shoulders forward and back, like you're in a washing machine. If you need a little visual reference, think about Sugar Ray dancing in the ring. Letting those punches slip by the ear. Woo, Sugar Ray. We've got the body movement. Now we're going to bring the knockout punch. It's going to be a big right hook. Slip, boom. So now you get it. Hey, you can see how those shoulders slipping help you load the punch. Did I say that was a power hook? I feel like you haven't thrown power yet. There we go. All right, we're going to go for the triple punch. Get down low. So bend your knees. Don't just bend through the body. Bend your knees. Sit down. Don't escape the work. We're going to triple it up. Now three times. Squat down, one, two, three. Dan said something about the bread basket. I don't know if I've ever eaten bread out of a basket. One more. Boom. Mm, making myself hungry. Anyone fancy a baguette? All right, we've got ourselves close enough and in range to really get that knockout. So why don't we go for it? Uppercut, left and right. See, the thing is, if you're gonna dance with your shoulders, and you're gonna dance with your opponent up here in the climber, you need to get close and have the ability to knock them out. Three shots, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now at some point, one of these is gonna connect. It could be the first, the second, or the third. Booyah! Right, now we're gonna throw some hooks. One on the left, one on the right, one on the left. Yep, now triple offers! I love how quickly you adjust yourself as you see the shape of the targets. Look at your combo up onto the left-hand side. The combo number's going up. The leaderboard on the right-hand side's going crazy. This is fantastic, but you're not done yet. We're on the home straight. Single jabs. Oh, yeah, these are going to go on for a while. Sorry about it. Sorry, not sorry and all that. This is where we get cardio to the max. Come on, I want heart rate. Big heart rate, like, like what Channing Tatum gives me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's challenge your reaction timing. It's fast. Wide front stance, jabs left and right. Eight times. Let's go. Left, right, left, right. Now hook left and right. Squat out the way, stand up, double punch. Do it again. On the squat, chest up, tuck your shoulders, go. All right, now down, down, down. These are battle rope slams. They start up and come down at the same time. Grab for left knee, grab for right knee. So grab, pull, strike. Now slam down. Take the hands to the outer part of the thighs. Brace the abs, chest up. You've got it, power knee. Oh yeah. Come on, jabs, they're fast. Eight, seven, six, five. Back to the hooks. Release the heel. Squat down, stand up. You know it now. For four reps, for three reps. Yep, we cut it in half. Single knee, single knee. Pick up your pace, go. Give it everything you've got. We never miss a target. We never retreat. We never surrender. We're winners. We've got that mentality of a winner. Told you it was fast. How was those reactions? Right, we've got boxing. We're going to cut the things in half. 
Four jabs, left and right, then uppercut. Left, right, left, right, change. Just change where the shoulders and the body move so you can meet the requirements of the target. Now we're slipping right and left. Go. Shoulders move out the way. Now head, body, hold. It's a jab, right side. So we're in that wide front stance. Work your abdominals. Now your timing. Head, body. The timing is going to change. Jabs, uppercuts. Now slip. Watch. Head, body, head, body. Four, three, two, one. Upper, two, three, four. Slip, slip. Head, body, head, body. You're on your own. You don't need me. You're the winner. I'm just this voice in the background telling you how amazing that you are. Telling you how awesome that you are. Not how you're going to be, but how you are right now. Four, three. Now hit the blue target. Big one. Ooh, how did that feel? All that technique's paying off. 90%. Good one.